No schooling. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. So that one, that one has spark a real reasoning now, Bridget. You know, this brother here. <laughs> when we really check it out, I think of some serious thing the man do. In a um in a Babylon, I think there's some serious thing Jonathan may just go on with like I think of some crime like him really beat up somebody or something. I'm really checking to it. I realize it. <coughs> Excuse me. I run the man I run. From a white lady. Running. So what is the charge? I still can't figure it out from all of what I've seen so far. Please, somebody in the comments, please, somebody, tell me what happened. What did he do? Did he whoop somebody? Somebody get beat up? Who get strangled? Who get choked? Who get choked in a, um, in a river? Did somebody get thrown off a bridge? Um, let me know, somebody. Let me know what happened, because um, I haven't had enough time to do any investigation on these things too much, but I've been hearing what I've been hearing, you know me I say, and based off a narrative, you know, me not too in a to find out what I go on in Hollywood that, that I at least I want me to know. I've been doing a lot of music so but quite interesting and will be on my channel as you know, but I like for just have a reasoning. So they welcome to reasoning with G Terror first of all. Big up everybody. You know me I say? Get a round of applause and none. Okay, well cool. We can move on. Yo, everybody, tell me one now. I want somebody to tell me that somebody anybody tell me why. What the heck is going so on? So Jonathan Majors has given his first interview. You know that since he's found guilty of uh, the DV, um, domestic violence. Uh, anyway, he is at this point awaiting sentencing. So he did give his first interview. Um, and he continues, of course, to deny that he was ever abusive in any relationship. Um, he did shed, started off by shedding some tears. I don't know if you caught any of it. Of course, that's what the interview for. And, oh, okay, because he hasn't been <laughs> sentenced yet. And um, he did speak that right away. He said um, people are saying, you know, he's reaching for sympathy. Um, he did speak about his daughter. He hasn't been able to see her. He, why? Uh, because of all this, because of the case and all the stuff happening around him, I guess. So why hasn't he been able to see her, though? Uh, he didn't specify, but I'm assuming when he, when he said it, I'm, I'm taking from it that he's saying that the... <clears throat> Red flag. Why is this man not seeing his daughter just because he's going to a trial, some misdemeanor thing? Black men seem to be the only men who can have access to their children just because whatever reason. Whatever reason. Anybody else have access to their children committing 10, 15 murders, bombing on nations, but no problem. No problem. That's how I looked at it. I was just going to say, with your kids, this is part of American culture. If you don't do it the day, you can't see your baby. And then after a while, you'll be like, the baby. I ain't finna be arguing with you, motherfucker. Ask my daughter. I was like, you tripping? Over ya! <laughs> what, the <fuck? laughs> what the fuck? America and even here in the UK, when it comes to relationships and children, a lot of the times the mothers do have the power and they get to control whether or not the husband or the ex-husband or the guy, the baby father, actually has a role in the child's life. They get to control that. They have so much influence and power over that child and that's why a lot of the times the children end up growing up hating the father and most of the time it has nothing to do with the father it's not like the father caused this issue but because the mother was preventing the child from actually seeing the father the child ends up growing up hating the father it's sad even if you're not getting on with your with your ex you should still try to form a good relationship for your child you know because at the end of the day a child does need their father and a child does need their mother so there might be issues within the relationship but that doesn't mean you need to let those issues affect the child because children remember things children have fantastic memories and children need that, that masculine influence. So it's very important for mothers to allow fathers to see their children. That's a universal thing, bro. It's my daughter. I was like, you tripping? F for ya! Anyway, uh, and also in the interview, his current girlfriend, actress Megan Good, was there watching him off on the side and they, did, they kept panning off to her. Great hustle. Uh, Don't she get that? Air time. What did he say? 
Wise Cat said, God bless. Remember he said, <laughs> God bless, man. He walked in there looking all good. Look at the 5150 show in, uh, a couple of weeks ago. I talked about this. This is airtime. That's, That's true. That woman oh. using that airtime as she should. Now, she had now. lost some airtime when she was the preacher. The preacher wasn't getting this type of airtime. Oh, so now she yeah, back man. in with a real Hollywood actor that's mm. in the face of people. Yeah. She mm. getting that airtime. She gonna get a role for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look at that. All of that. What can you see here, people? You know what I'm saying? Hollywood, Hollywood. So all the Jamaican and all the people and worldwide, black people, you know, Nubian people, you, you want to rush to be up in Hollywood and you know, being the elite and all of this stuff. I mean, I'm not knocking nobody hustling. I don't even know what's going on behind closed doors. So I wouldn't be the one to jump up and make all these assumptions. Oh, well, everybody's selling their soul and everybody doing this. You know, I, I can't do that. I just can't do that. Some people are so quick to do it. And it makes me realize if they're so quick to jump to the those conclusions, that means they must know. They must have been behind the door. Probably they got touched or something, you know. And that's the way they let you. <laughs> but I've never been there, so I can't call or something. I've always been an independent musician, just doing my music. I've been running around. Whatever tours I've did, whatever shows I did, was on my own. You know, it was with a team of people I know personally. We physically move. The love I get is direct from real people. I've never really been on certain sets, so I just I always question this stuff. It's been interesting to me. Everybody who has something to do with law was saying, I can't believe a misdemeanor was even brought to mm. trial. Mm. They say this stuff rarely makes it that's to true. trial. And that's the reason why I wanted to reason on these topics. Now we're going to get some more from Corey Holcomb and the team live off of the Corey Holcomb show, you know what I mean? I said? on YouTube. So big up everybody out there. We'll take interest in these topics too. We don't have the time for really research and follow behind actors and athletes and artists to find out what going on in life because you're too busy running your own business you know what I mean? so right now reason with g Terry is all about just dropping a quick little video i talk about these things so we get the answer to what's going on you know what i say without having to search too hard so yeah big up everybody you ever know what i run gollywood i don't go on no caucasian <laughs> woman in question got arrested they don't arrest caucasian women Oh motherfucking battery and all. They arrested her. The officers came and arrested her. This is what you need to know about that Jonathan Majors case. What are you talking about when she was drunk, lean, and like knocked out in his own closet? They like, showed the, they got video of the chasing him down the street. Ah, that was ridiculous, right? I was like, okay, good. He's a, this is what you need to know about this case. I'm like, how you hurt and you chasing that man? And it's so. It's so terrible when you think about it, but it's just you need to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. None of the evidence against the woman was allowed in the courtroom. Jesus. We don't care what she did. Even though she got arrested, they didn't want to prosecute her. Mm. What the kind of world is this? You know what they called her? The survivor. Oh. They was calling her the survivor in the courtroom. This was dancing wound up drunk where Jonathan Majors was supposed to be so he went and got a hotel because he didn't want no drama. See, he did stay away from you, right. He didn't want no drama and they found him guilty. They don't even pursue these types of cases. It was a misdemeanor. They said, we don't get what evidence you got on this. We're using this evidence against him and we're going to make it what we want to make it. And a nigga was in charge of this shit. Hey, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, yo. In Hollywood, when they're against you and they're ready to tear you down, they use whatever. It doesn't matter if you did right or wrong. Done. They just done. Black on black celebrity gossip seem, seem to be the new thing now. So, you know, um, yeah, but that's crazy. You know, it's just overall. We got. I think we got enough uh, to, to get the answers of what's going on, you know. They're pretty much trying to just cancel a man in Hollywood yeah. and that's yeah. it. You know? Nothing so. new. Yeah, it happens all the time. It all the time. I know the first time we see this, but people... I think we got enough answers, like I said, you know what I mean? I said, make we just close the case on that one, yeah? Make sure you subscribe, like, share, leave your comments. I want to know your feedback, you know, what you think about. Dude, I don't think he did nothing wrong. I can't see they presenting anything about him, um, you know, doing any domestic damage. It's crazy. It's crazy how quick they could tear down a, um, a newbie and man for whatever. But, yeah, subscribe. Next video coming soon. You don't know. G-Terror outside.
Nice.